Hello to everyone. In the previous video, I had assigned you a task. This video is being specifically short so that I can provide you the necessary explanation. Not taking much of your time, let me get started. Before that, very quickly, the same reminders, nothing different. If you have missed out any particular explanation, if you have not understood any particular adjustment, there are previous videos connected to that. Never ever am I going to be giving you a task which has not been explained to you prior to that. So please note, whatever is the job given to you, if you cannot solve a particular part of that particular problem, it has been explained in the previous part of that video or maybe in prior videos. There will always be a card provided for the previous videos as well as a link at the end of this one. Right now, let me move out and discuss the step which we already have done. So here goes the homework sum or something like this, well not something like this, exactly like this. So we had Shireen and Farhad are partners from the following trial balance and additional information prepared trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st of March 2019 and a balance sheet. We had a trial balance. We have completely discussed this. What does that mean? If you have a look at the steps, step number one, mark the trial balance. It has already been done. So the marking is done, but I will still, because this is the beginning of this particular solution, I will quickly go through the entire markings. Okay, here goes. Purchases is trading because it is always pre-written in the trading account. Sundry daters is an asset reason they are customers. Money has to be received from them. Return in word in other words is sales return. It's already booked. The seat for that is booked in the trading account. Next is drawings. It is connected to the partners. So we write it in partners capital. Salaries is the payment that you do to the employees that come in an office. We write that in profit and loss account. Coal, gas and water has no connection with the office department, but it has complete connection with the production department. There are various processes that use coal or maybe different kind of gases or different kind of, well, not different kind of waters, but water for the purification process of whatever is the exhaust, whatever is the unused material that comes out from the production process. Okay, so it's connected to the production process trading account. Bank charges is not connected to production, but it is connected to post production. Therefore, it is profit and loss account. Discount is a mind calculation. Therefore, it is profit and loss account. I am going through these items faster, but then because it has already been explained to you, I don't want to be taking your precious time in reteaching this once again to you. Work manager salary meant what? It meant production manager salary and therefore we write it in trading account. Legal charges was connected to an advocate when an advocate or a lawyer comes to the office because he's connected with paperwork. He's connected with mind work and not muscle work. Okay. It has been told to you a long time back. Therefore, mind work is in profit and loss account. What is goodwill? It is good reputation. Good reputation if you make because of the hard work that you have performed in your field, it is useful for you in future. Okay, as simple as that. Patent. What does that mean? It is the invention that an inventor comes up with. There are many people who are scientists, they are researchers, they are constantly in their particular area of expertise researching and maybe after a few years they come up with a new product, they come up with a new medicine, something like that. So they want to protect their invention. How do they protect that? By obtaining a patent. So patent is kind of a certificate that is given to the inventor. Okay, because of that, his invention is protected from the copycats which are there in this entire world. So patent is useful in future. Bad debts is connected to a bad debt formula which we always write in the profit and loss account. Therefore, it's transferred there. Opening stock is pre-written in trading account. Loose tools. Tools are useful in future. Okay, when a job is done, the tool that is used 
for doing that particular job the screwdriver that is used the drill machine that is used okay all of these they do not diminish you can use the same tools in future also for future jobs therefore it is useful in future asset cash in hand is asset cash at bank doesn't matter where cash is if it belongs to you it is good for you so it's an asset these were the markings of the debit side the credit side commission is a mental calculation a mind work they profit and loss discount is again mind work they have profit and loss rdd was the new item i have explained this prior to this look at the previous videos you will get a detailed explanation as to how do you solve this the only question arises is this old rdd or is this new rdd whatever comes in the trial balance has to be old rdd please note that you will transfer it to the profit and loss account specifically in the formula which is connected to back debts return outward is other word for purchase return therefore you will write it in a trading account creditors are those people that you have to pay money to you have promised please sir come tomorrow i will pay you your money therefore it is a payable item it's a liability sales is a prefixed item in the trading account capital is the money of the owners which is the partners therefore it is written in partners capital account this was your trial balance as discussed the next were adjustments closing stock we do not put a star mark for it we will never put a star mark for it second we had goods lost in right i hope it has been done by you if not not a problem i will be providing you the necessary explanation but right now understand that there is no marking in the trial balance for goods lost in right similarly for goods withdrawn by partners there is no marking in the trial balance fourth goods lost in accident there is no marking for that either for second 1 2 3 4 no markings yes fifth one outstanding salary effects salaries which has been written so there is a star marking for that one star means you will leave a line you will draw a line prepaid bank charges sixth adjustment 1000 it is connected to bank charges we have put one star seventh was the vip adjustment even in the previous part of the previous video as well as in this one it says two things not one right talk what does that mean remove remove it 20000 for bad debts now the question which bad debts is this there are two bad debts in the bad debt formula please have a look at it bad debt then additional bad debt the first bad debt comes in trial balance we have already discussed that that's here bad debts okay and right now what you see this bad debt that is the second bad debt that comes as additional bad debt again explanation has been done please do go to the previous part of the previous videos moving on with our next part and create what does create mean something new create a reserve for doubtful debt rdd therefore this is called as new rdd whom do you have a doubt upon you have it on your debtors so seventh adjustment has two effects that are going to change the number of debtors the amount of debtors so you put two stars for these the eighth adjustment well it was not an adjustment it was just an information which said partners profit sharing ratio is in their respective capital so the ratio has to be manufactured has to be found out from the capitals which is 2 lakh and 1 lakh you write them one besides the other and then after doing the necessary cancellations what you will get will be 2 is to 1 this was a step number 1 mark the trial balance so now we are starting with step number 2 which is empty the trial balance for which let us have a look at a sum purchases debtors return and word these have been marked we are starting with the postings first purchases for that we have to go to trading account in the inner column purchases and sales are always transferred in the inner column because we have to deduct the returns from them so this is it then we go to sundry debtors which is an asset it has two stars two stars means you have to leave three lines for that 2 lakh rupees asset side if you post and please leave three lines exactly three lines if you leave more it's not a problem but at least three lines have to be left next item is return inward it means sales return it goes to trading account 
Next item is drawings connected to partners. Therefore, it will go to partners capital account on the debit side. Because we are in the debit, we are transferring everything to the debit side. Next is salaries, profit and loss account. It has one adjustment, one star, so we have left one line for it. Continuing, coal, gas and water, 5000, connected to production, therefore transferred to trading account. Moving on, bank charges is connected to the office part, therefore it is connected to post production, 7000, profit and loss account. Again, it has an adjustment, please leave one line. Continuing. Next is discount, profit and loss account, 20,000. So profit and loss account, 20,000. Next is work manager salary. Please read this as production manager salary, 18,000. That is connected to trading account. Moving on, we get legal charges. Payment to the advocate, 30,000. It is connected to post production, this particular one, legal charges. Therefore, we write it in profit and loss account. Next is goodwill, good reputation, useful in future. It goes to the balance sheet. Moving on, we have patent. When you manufacture something new, invent something new, you get a patent for that. Therefore, 3 lakh rupees. Whoever is the owner of the patent, it is good for him. It protects his invention. It is an asset. Next, is bad debt. It is connected to the formula that you have just now been taught to bad debts. So we will write it in this account, inner column. Next is opening stock. Opening stock is 60,000. 60,000 is trading account. So we have to write it in trading account. Next is loose tools. Tools are those things that are used by certain people that is maybe a, a, a carpenter, a plumber without which they cannot work ahead. So it is useful for them. Tools are useful for them in future. Therefore, we write it in the balance sheet. Next is cash in hand. It is always useful for the person who has the cash. Therefore, useful in future. By this, the debit comes to an end. Now we go to the credit side. Commission is profit and loss account. Please note, credit will be transferred to the credit side. Therefore, buy. Many students by mistake unknowingly write it on the debit side. Please don't do that. It is on the credit. It will be transferred to the credit side. Moving on, we have discount. Just like that, it is in the credit. Please transfer it on the credit side. Next, you have is RDD. If you look at the formula of bad debt, you have new RDD, old RDD. The placement of old RDD is trial balance. This T transfer trial balance. So we will write it here. Next, after RDD is return output, that is called as purchase return, and therefore we will write it in trading account. Next is creditors, people that you have promised to pay. Tomorrow, payable, therefore they will go on the liability side. Our next item is sales. It is a prefixed item in the trading account. It is always written on the credit side. After which we have partners capitals, Shireen and Farhad, 2 lakh and 1 lakh rupees. This too will be transferred to the partners capital account on the credit side. Before I go ahead, a quick reminder, there is a particular information later which says partners profit sharing ratio is in their respective capital. Because I have just now read capital, I am drawing your attention to this. From 2 lakh and 1 lakh which is capital owner's money, you have to get the ratio without which you will not be able to solve the entire sum. So very quickly, if you write 2 lakh is to 1 lakh, what do you get? The following, when you cancel the common zeros, five zeros, five zeros, you get two is to one, which is the ratio and the fraction is two third and one third. So just remember this later on in the sum, 
we are going to be using two third and one third. When we have done this, our entire trial balance has ended. If you go to the steps, you can say that step number two has been completed. It's time we start with step three, which is called a solve adjustments. Do remember whenever you do adjustments, you have to be doing two effects. What does that mean in accounts, which is called as double entry system? It means you have to write one debit and one credit. So going to this question, adjustments. First, closing stock. This is a very old classical adjustment comes in every sum and it is the same place that you write it. The first effect of closing stock is where you write opening stock. It means in trading account. So the first effect is 70,000. What do you do with closing stock? You keep the stock with you. You keep the goods with you, whatever is available in your godown, because it is going to be useful tomorrow. A businessman will sell the same goods that he has left over today. Tomorrow he will sell it and he will make some benefit out of it, some income out of it. So it is useful tomorrow, beneficial tomorrow. It means it is an asset. This is how you write it, 70,000. So these are the two effects of closing stock. Moving on. Our second adjustment today is about goods. Our third adjustment is also about goods. And our fourth adjustment is about goods. I'm repeating the word goods again and again. The reason is the moment you see in an adjustment the word goods, you will immediately write or think about the trading account. Because in the trading account, there is also go down and go down within it has goods. Example, first is goods lost in riot. That means there was for some reason riot in the society where that particular godown is located and due to the rioting, 10,000 valued boxes, goods were stolen, taken away from them. So when that happened, what happened in the godown? Credit what goes out. There were some people who did this wrong activity and they took undue advantage of it and they took away the goods. So on the credit side, we have credit what goes out as a first effect. Goods lost in riot, 10,000. Now, will these rioters, will they pay you any money? Absolutely not. In fact, they have done a wrong job. The cops will affect, will arrest many of them and most probably put them in jail. So they are not going to pay you any money. It is a total loss for you. Because it is a total loss, the second effect comes in profit and loss account debit because debit is debit the expenses and losses. So a second effect is loss by riot 10,000. Next, goods withdrawn by partners. Where will the partners? Shireen and Farhat take the goods from, from the godown. Therefore, immediately you go to trading account, credit side, credit what goes out. Goods withdrawn, you write the name of the partners and their amounts, 2000, 2000 and next it will be in partners capital account because it is drawings for them, like this, 2000. Again, please do not get confused. How is it that drawings is there two times? The above drawings is like an old drawings. The next is a new drawings. Partners, owners, Shireen and Farhat, or for that matter in any question, any partner, nobody can stop a partner from taking away something from the business because they have given it. So they can take it away. Nobody is going to question them. So a partner can have, an owner can have multiple drawings. It's not a problem. Next, we go to goods lost in accident. So there was some kind of an accident where the goods were kept and because of that, maybe uh, there was some flooding, maybe there was some fire, there was some kind of an accident, okay, and goods were lost. So the goods that are lost in an accident are of no use. Those boxes, those products, you cannot keep, you cannot sell them. So what does a businessman do? He has to throw it out, throw it out. So when I say throw it out, I mean credit what goes out. 
So first effect is in trading goods lost in accident 12,000. All these three goods are always written in trading account. Second effect of goods lost in accident. Will you get any money from it? Again, no, because you had to throw it away, literally throw it away, maybe in the garbage bin. Therefore, it is a loss and second effect is in profit and loss account. Loss by accident, 12,000. Next, students, we go to outstanding salaries. It's a uh, old adjustment. It never changes. Outstanding means today's expenses. So this is today's salary. Therefore, you must add it in today's salary, which is here in PNL account. And what about the second effect? You have promised to pay it tomorrow. Somebody came to your place, a plumber came, an electrician came, a painter came. He did his job, but you did not have money to pay him. You promised to pay him tomorrow that please come tomorrow and take your money. So that angle of thinking is payable. Therefore, we write it in the balance sheet on the liability side as outstanding salaries, 2000. Opposite to outstanding is prepaid. Outstanding means you did not pay. Prepaid means you paid it in advance. Okay. So prepaid means tomorrow's expense. So from today, you have to subtract it, deduct it. So you have to go to bank charges, which is here. And from here, you give the first effect of prepaid, which is subtract bank charges. First effect minus 1000. What about second effect of prepaid? Anything prepaid, not just bank charges. It can be prepaid advertisement, prepaid commission, anything prepaid is good for you tomorrow. Okay. If you intend to travel to your native place, most probably a few months in advance, you will book the ticket. Maybe the bus ticket, maybe the railway ticket, maybe the airway ticket. Why do you do that? Because if you book it in advance and pay the money, your seat is booked. You do not have to worry on the day of journey. Will I get a seat or not? You can comfortably travel to your native place. So prepaid gives benefit in future. Therefore, you write it in the balance sheet on the asset side. Prepaid bank charges 1000. This is done. Next, which is the seventh adjustment. It is the new one for the day. Write off. 20,000. Write off means what? Subtract. This wording here means subtraction. Why are you subtracting? Because bad debts have happened. Who has done the bad debts? It is only one person in the balance sheet. Goodwill cannot do bad debts. Patent, loose tools cannot do bad debts. People, wrong people tend to do bad debts because they run away with your money. So the adjustment is saying from these data, which are customers, how many have become bad debts? Bad, meaning to say they are bad people. You do not want to have any connection with such people. So 20,000 worth of customers are bad. You will discontinue your relationship with them. You will subtract them. So the first effect of this bad debt, which is called as additional bad debt, will be written in the balance sheet below data. You have subtracted it and the word says additional bad debt. This exact wording is written in the profit and loss account in this formula of bad debt, additional bad debt. So it is here that you give the second effect like this. Moving on, the same adjustment says and create. I have repeated this once again. Create is always new. Whenever something is created, it has it is being made for the first time. It previously did not exist. So the word create means new. So you read it like this. New reserve for doubtful debt. The code word here is RDD. So this adjustment is talking about new RDD at 5% on data. So you have a doubt on data. I'll repeat myself. Maybe the adjustment would have told you create reserve for doubtful debt at 5% and then nothing ahead. Don't get confused. You should know doubt can only be on debtors. You can have a doubt on people. I'll show you once again. Can you have a doubt on goodwill? 
is goodwill a person no can you have a doubt on loose tools it is not possible you can't have a doubt on patent no you can't have a doubt on cash so the concept of doubt is not applicable to these people it doesn't make any sense it is connected to a person that is a data so the adjustment says you have a doubt of 5% on data so when you look at data in the balance sheet 2 lakh minus 20000 you get a figure of 1 lakh 80 now these are not necessarily good people so you have a doubt the experience of a businessman is telling him he has a 5% doubt on these people that 5% may in future run away with my money so if they are going to run away they are most probably going to become bad right now you have a doubt so you will subtract it because you have a doubt that you may not get your money this is how you write it subtract 5% new rdd first effect first effect whenever i am writing second effect whenever i am writing it is only for your understanding please note do not repeat it in your respective colleges neither in any examinations okay now when you calculate 5% of 1 lakh 80000 this is the figure you get which is 9000 okay this is the first effect where do you write it for the second time there's a formula in pnl which is bad debt formula and you have an exact word called as new rdd so the placement is here of the second effect something like this okay now that if you look at the question the eight point again says partners profit sharing ratio is in their respective capitals which i have already shown this is not an adjustment it is only trying to explain to you how do you get the profit sharing ratio 2 lakh 1 lakh i have shown it to you i'll repeat it from 2 lakh 1 lakh when you do cancellations you get 2 is to 1 which gives you 2/3 and 1/3 so students as far as the steps are concerned we have right now successfully completed step number 3 which is solve adjustments now it's time we start our step number 4 which is called as tally the accounts and balance sheet before you do the work called as tally or casting students please make sure that in every account whether maths plus minus is supposed to be done example 1 lakh 40000 minus 4000 you complete it and you transfer the answers in the outer column because inner column numbers inner column hard work does not give you any marks so we start 1 lakh 40000 minus 4000 for purchases gives you 1 lakh 36000 sales 6 lakhs minus 4000 5 lakh 96000 for goods withdrawn 2000 plus 2000 gives you 4000 it is my sincere request to all of you please try your best to avoid any calculator help a mechanical device like a calculator is not allowed in the exam so please make sure do the plus and minus on your own do not take the help of any device definitely not of a calculator salaries is 12000 plus 2000 14000 bank charges is subtract 7000 minus 1000 6000 the formula of bad debts has 20000 plus 20000 plus 9000 minus 2000 that gives you 47000 when you go to partners capital account there is no plus and minus to be done here next you go to the balance sheet look at the asset side datas 2 lakh minus 20000 is 1 lakh 80000 so that is already done please don't put this number in the outer column after that minus 9000 1 lakh 71000 now this is inner column transferred to the outer column now we start with a casting process for that again go back to trading account and you have to now write the rough totals okay whatever i show in the yellow colored cell is always a rough total is to be done in pencil please note that do not write it in pen it creates a misunderstanding a confusion for the person who is correcting your paper so debit total should be 2 lakh 19000 credit total should be 6 lakhs 92000 among these two credit is heavy it is written on both the sides the heavier side is always written on both the sides 
After that, there is a difference. Please note, very important. There is a difference between six lakhs ninety-two thousand and two lakh nineteen thousand. That difference is on the debit side because this two lakh nineteen is less. So the difference is on the debit side. Four lakh seventy-three thousand. What is it called? Gross profit carried down. Profit of a trading account is called as gross profit. It doesn't get come to an end here. You have to carry it to the next account, which is profit and loss account on the credit side. Now the reason why do you transfer on the credit side? Because you have two in the previous account, and now you will be writing buy. So this is how you do it. Once you have done this, the casting process, the totaling should again be done in profit and loss account, debit total. One lakh thirty-nine thousand credit, four lakh eighty-seven thousand. Between both of these, the credit is heavy, so please write it on both the sides. The difference will come on the debit side. Three lakh forty-eight thousand. Now, what is this called? This is nothing but net profit. I am repeating myself once again. Please make sure you are not using any calculator when you are doing. these particular calculations in your examinations there is no permission for a calculator also when a certain task is assigned to you please make sure it is attempted by you i am in no way saying that that has to be perfect it has to be 100% correct absolutely not okay that the intention of the task is you devoting the time to practice that particular assignment so the intention is you giving the time okay whether it is sometimes correct sometimes may be wrong that's perfectly fine as a student you are going to be doing mistakes that is how we learn so that's what i am trying my best to do to teach you if you are doing a mistake please learn from that there is always a improvement that you are going to do okay back to this credit is 487000 debit is 139000 this is the difference this is the profit profit named as net profit carried down because the profit and loss account profit is called as net profit it is distributed why is it distributed because the ownership of this particular sum this question belongs to two people now what are their names shireen and farhad how are they going to distribute this the information of this has been previously given to you Shireen Farhad. After the cancellation, we got two third, one third. So we will use this right now. So when you do the calculation, total net profit multiply by the ratio. This is how it appears when you do your necessary maths. You get two lakh thirty two thousand for Shireen. For Farhad, you get into one upon three, one divided by three. You get one lakh sixteen thousand. Any rough work students. if you are doing which obviously when you are doing 2/3 and 1/3 is required it is my sincere request below your trading account now here on the screen you don't have much space but when you are solving it in your notebook you will be having space below please utilize the space beneath trading account for any rough work now let's move on two net profit will be transferred to the partners capital account on the credit side it will be written as by net profit brought down for shireen and then for farhad 2,32,000 1,16,000 now you will be doing the totaling in partners capital account find out the total of shireen debit and credit 7,000 4,32,000 then you can do it for farhad 7,000 2,16,000 now if you look at only shireen the credit is heavy so please write the heavier side on both the side this is how it appears then the difference comes on the debit side which is 432000 minus 7000 i understand all of this subtraction is quite simple when i'm speaking about it but you have to do it so please attempt all the maths plus minus multiply divide all the different operations of maths on your own okay practice is what is going to make you good i'm not saying necessarily perfect at the beginning that takes time but you will be one step ahead now do the same when you're doing for farhad 2 lakh 16 credit then debit 
and the difference 2 lakh 16 minus 7000 will be 2 lakh 9000 both of these are capital of Shireen and Farhad but which capital closing because they are coming in the last line first line has opening capital last line will have closing capital this is how you write it to balance carry it down please notice when you say the word balance it has to be connected to the balance sheet so this when you say carry CD carry where do you carry it you carry it to the balance sheet where will it go this is debit when you go to the balance sheet liabilities are credit please do not write credit there it is not allowed because the balance sheet is not an account but you should understand assets are debit liabilities are credit so please transfer it here Shireen write the answer Farhad write the answer which is 4,25,000 for Shireen 2,9,000 for Farhad put the total in the outer column 6,34,000 last step is to add the liability side and to add the asset side and if you have put in the required hard work and the required perfection both of these must come the same so in our solution it is 7,36,000 on the liability side and 7,36,000 on the asset side congratulations to you you have finished all our steps we were on step number four tally the accounts and balance sheet we have successfully achieved that okay students it's time that i am back generally when i am back for the second time in the video it's good news for you because this lecture will be coming to an end it has been another lecture it has been another problem successfully tallied by both of us a quick reminder there are cards given during the lecture for previous videos there is links given at the end of this one we will be meeting very soon do take care